Perfect. I'm really happy with that. And with a dollop of Mary Rose sauce, it's fish and chip cocktail and a poached egg version for vegetarian Charles. There's yours, oh, Charles. I'll pass you. that over to you. Yeah, I think okay. that's great. You're welcome. I don't know how to do this. Just What's just that? Snap, it. snap off the head. That's just their brains, but you don't need that. Bit. And just oh, yeah. Peel the bit back across the back because that's his poo tract. Oh, God, Caroline. Look, look, that's the poo, the prawn poo. And you had to crack it, pull out that stringy bit of poo, and then the green bit of brain, I couldn't eat it, it put me off. What did you think of my presentation, Charles? I thought it was beautiful, Tom, like you. Mm. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> I felt Tom's dish looked nice, you know, it was fitting to his personality and what he's all about, looking good. I like slate, I've got it on my patio, <laughs> and it's a little overused as a concept for culinary presentation. I think I'd rather show my food off on a chopping board and a slate um, rather than plates from the Victorian era, uh, like Caroline did. On with the main then, and with his pies topped with shop-bought pastry and cheese, they're good to go. These look fit for a queen and uh, Lady Caroline. <laughs> Here it is, steak and ale pie and a Stilton and broccoli version for Charles. There was way, way... It was just mainly beef. He should have put a lot more vegetables in it. I will confess, the pastry is shop-bought, but I did kind of modify it by putting the cheddar and the chive crust on. So you, yeah. you sliced some cheddar? I'm, I'm rated, darling. Rated, sliced. I'm really annoyed that you bought your pastry because Iron. you can make pastry. And I was so slated about it. Bloody onion barge. You can make onion barge, um, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I can. And I was slated for it. So I'm going to slate you about your pastry and you have to accept it because... I do know, accept what you're saying. Enough, yeah, yeah, that is completely, completely fair enough. OK. He went completely over the top. And I thought, just shut your mouth up. You're ruining Tom's night. Be quiet. It's been done. It's been said. So leave it there and get on with it. Maybe he needs to meditate and get the pastry out of his mind. <laughs> Move on. I thought the petit pois were lovely. Peas. Yeah, no, well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done on boiling them and draining them. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, do think, I do think you've kind of slightly got it in for me tonight with this whole skill thing. All week, you've been awfully good at dishing it out. Oh, I have, and I'm awfully good at taking <laughs> awfully it. Awfully good at dishing it out. No, you've been super defensive tonight. I do just think she was clutching at straws and she had to find something to fault me with and that was the only thing she could find. You can't bulldoze your way through life, dish out criticism, and try attempt to sugarcoat the criticism, but all the same issue a big sting and not receive any back. It's the final course of the week and Tom's last chance to get everyone back on site. Time to go to the seaside. Grab your bucket and spade, everyone. It's pudding. Amazing. Oh, my God! Mm. I don't even know where to start. It's just so... It will be quite messy, but just honestly, don't be afraid to make a mess. You just go for no. it. I've never seen a dessert like it. It was so beautiful and a real work of art. The biscuit mix tasted lovely, but there was too much of it. It was too thick. Is this the first course of the week where no one's got anything negative to say? <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Please, no. All my courses were well received, um, and I think I've done all right, so fingers crossed. Let's find out. Scores, please. For the most spectacular dessert I've ever seen, and for attention to detail, it's an eight. I do appreciate the fact he did go out of his way to make my meals vegetarian, so because of that, I've decided to give him a seven. To beat current leader Caroline, Tom needs an eight from his new bezzy mate, Andrea. I'm going to give Tom a... Hold it right there. Here comes Tom with the results. It's so nerve-wracking. Oh, my God. In joint third is Andrea and Charles. Oh, my God. Well done. And in second is me. Oh! So the winner is Caroline! Caroline! Yeah. A six from Andrea put Tom second with a total of 21. Golly, gosh and crikey, I've won a thousand pounds.